Hello, good morning once again, my dear students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Now, today we're going to continue uh, our uh, topic about square root. This one is using the quotient property. Okay, so we divide it for this time. We're going to get the square root of the expression having a division. Okay, the method is division. Now, we have here our first example. We have here uh, the square root of 20x power 10 over 125x. Okay, so we start. Again, uh, the same uh, method that we're going to follow, uh, the one that we have with the product rule that we're going to expand. Like, for example, the variable with the power 10, we're going to expand that having uh, the variable with power 2 so that it can be extracted okay as well for the the coefficient 20 here this one is the coefficient we're going to find any number that is a perfect square uh, any any factor rather factor of 20 which is uh, a perfect square that we can have it as a power 2 so any perfect square a factor of this so that it will be extracted out as well as with the denominator here we have 125 so we're going to find a factor for this one which is a perfect square so that we can extract it out okay so that we can simplify this using the quotient property so we start for 20 we can have 4 times 5 right because 4 is a perfect square so 5 is not a per perfect square for a 10, we can expand this as like x power 2, x power 2, x power 2, uh, 5 times, right? Uh, 5 times 2, yeah, 5 times. But for that, we can uh, make it into 1, like we say x power 5 to the power 2, right? Because 5 and 2 is 10, still the same. So we start, we have this one. So this is uh, 2 power 2 is 4. This is 4 times 5 is 20, right? So 2 power 2 is 4 times 5 is 20. For x power 10, we can write this as x power 5 raised to the power 2 because 5 times 2 is 10. So we can extract this out because we have power 2 already, right? So again, for this one, this is power to power. We multiply this that will be the total power that we have here now for the denominator that is 125 so we can have 25 times 5 for this so we have here 5 power 2 is 25 times 5 is 125 okay and we have here x now for this one we can split okay as the quotient property we can split uh, the two, like for example, for those uh, a coefficient or number or variable having a perfect square, we can separate that with the one uh, without the, uh, the perfect square, okay? But also, you can combine this as well, all together. Now, for this one, we can um, uh, extract like this, 2 power 2, and this one, x power 5 power 2. For denominator, we have only 5 power 2 that will be extracted out. So this one will stay inside, this one will stay inside, and this one will stay inside. But we can cancel this out because as the quotient of power, quotient of power, this will be uh, 1 minus 1, right? So if you still remember about the quotient of power, that if uh, the same base and that is division, we subtract the power so this will be one minus one or zero okay or cancel out no more number for this one okay cancel out because it will be zero or zero any number will be one so any number having power zero is one right so this will be cancel out or one we have this we have that one okay so we take out that one because it is equivalent to one okay so we continue we have that so this will be out extracted out here this one and this will be extracted out x power 5 will be extracted out this one and this one too it will be extracted in the denominator with this one so what is left 
for denominator, uh, for numerator rather, nothing left, but so we will write 1. Okay? So, uh, for the numerator, nothing left. There is only 1 left. So, that's why we write it 1 here. And for denominator, there's only x left, this one. There's only left. So, we have here x. It cannot, it's not a perfect square. Okay? Though, this one is a perfect square, but it will stay there as 1. Okay? So, that this will, at uh, this, x will have the value. So, therefore, the, the square root of this uh, expression is 2x power 5 over 5 to the square times the square root of 1 over x. Okay? Do you understand? Okay. Now, we go to the next one, b. So, we have here the square root of 486 times x to the power 11 over 600 times x power 2. So for this one, since that this are this is a big number, we can uh, divide first, find the factors that can make us or have uh, like a perfect square for this, for uh, for eight six and six hundred. Okay, by this we calculated already. We can have uh, for four eight six we can have eighty one times six, eighty one times six is 486 okay and for 600 we can have 10 power 2 or that is 100 times 6 is 600 okay and for this we can expand uh, for x power 11 we can have uh, x power 5 raised to the power 2 with this one times x because there's only 10 5 times 2 we multiply this it's only 10 plus 1 we have 11. And for denominator, we have only x power 2. Okay, so we start to uh, move this out. Or you can cancel this. We can cancel this again, 6 and 6. We have there. Or for using the uh, quotient property or quotient of power, that uh, the same base and um, the, uh, the power will be subtracted. 1 minus 1 is 0, so that would be 0, uh, 6 power 0 is 1, so, or we cancel it out. So, the numbers coefficient that we need to extract it out are 9, x power 5, 10 power 2, and x power 2. We have here, so we have 9, x power 5, and 10x, okay, so there's only 10 and x, okay? And left inside, for this, nothing for denominator, but for numerator, we still have x, this one, okay? This will not be out of the radical sign, it will stay, just like this one stay. But for denominator, nothing left, okay? And therefore, the square root of, uh, oh, by the way, since that we have here, we can still simplify this, okay? x power 5 and x, so this will be, again, quotient of power, we subtract 5 minus 1, 5 minus 1, okay, 9 x by 5 minus 1 over 10, that, is be, that will be 4. So this way the answer is 9 times x power 4 over 10 to the square root of x. Did you understand it? Okay, thank you very much. So we have the next example. We have here the square root of 2 to 5 x power 6 over 294x power 2. Okay, so we, again, we look for any uh, uh, perfect square number, that is 225 and 294. For 225, we have uh, 25 times 9 for 225. 25 times 9 is 225. And for x power 6, we can have um, uh, x power 3 raised to the power 2. For 294, we can have uh, 49 times 6, okay? Uh, 49 times 6. So, for 25, we can write 5 power 2, and for 9, 3 power 2. This is 49, 7 power 2. Okay, so we start to extract. So, this will be out, this will be out, and this will be out. For denominator, we have this will be out, and this will be out. But 6 will stay inside. Okay? So we have here. So 5 is here. 3. Then x power 3. 
for denominator we have 7 and x so uh, what uh, value or our coefficient left for the numerator is only 1 but for denominator we still have 6 so to simplify this again remember this one this is again a coefficient of power so we have there 3 minus 1 okay so this one is 5 times 3 is 15 and for this we have 3 minus 1 therefore the answer is 15 x power 2 over 7 times the square root of 1 over 6 so that's the answer for letter C now we go to the last one letter D we have the square root of 75 uh, a power 3 over 5 a power 7 so for 75 we can have 25 times 3 right like this 25 times 3 3 and a2 and a for a denominator we have a 5 a2 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 plus 1 or you can write this as um, uh, a3 power 2 okay a power 3 power 2 because two, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 here we have 7 so uh, 25 we change that to uh, 5 power 2 we have this times 3 times a power 2 times a for denominator we have a times a power 2 a power 2 a power 2 and a and by this we can cancel out this one okay because again for uh, quotient, uh, quotient uh, power that one we can cancel that out so for numerator it's only three that will be left this one and for denominator it's only five that will be left all the rest will be extracted so we have here five five will be extracted out and this one will be extracted out this one for denominator we have five uh, no a this one a and a and again this one we can cancel this out or we can have quotient, uh, quotient um, uh, power that is 1 minus 1 or 0. A power 0 is 1. Uh, a, yeah, x1. <laughs> and that we cancel. And therefore, we have 5 over a power 2 times the square root of 3 over 5. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's uh, the four examples of uh, finding the square root uh, for this quotient property. So I hope that you understand this and uh, if you have any question you can comment below and uh, more and more videos uh, I will make for the next time. Okay, see you and bye bye.